Hello, welcome to an uh, unboxing video of vintage slash designer clothing. Um, I have three boxes today, well, boxes slash bags, with the uh, combination of two um, mystery boxes, not mystery boxes, but like bundles that I bought online. I kind of know what's in them, I don't remember, but, um, so I'm a Depop seller, um, currently in the top 200 worldwide, <clears throat> looking to move that onto top 100 in the coming months, um, so this is kind of a full-time thing, I'm technically a student, but operating at full-time scale, um, going full-time once I graduate, so yeah, this is hopefully going to be a really good couple boxes. Um, one of them I got from a contact. Um, I don't know where he gets his stuff. I think he just gets bored of selling sometimes and just gets rid of everything. And then the other one I think is just someone's personal collection list that they auctioned on eBay and I won. And I'm very happy with what's inside. Very good price. Um, so I'm going to think that's that one. We'll see what's inside these. Oh yeah. I'll leave that one to last. Um, so we'll do this one first. So this one's from my contact. There's some good stuff in here. I don't but he actually took like a month to send it to me. I bought it before lockdown even started and it's now May. So, um, I think he just couldn't find a box throughout the crisis. Oh my god, there's so much sellotape. Oh, dang it. What have you done here, mate? It's ludicrous. This whole thing is literally sellotape. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Got being over cautious. All right, finally. Okay, so we start off with just the Woolwich Gile, which is not very exciting at all. That's fine. I think that's a freebie. I can't. I don't know. Um, that was probably worth like fifteen quid on eBay. I don't know. This looks wavy. Womo and the Womo. Some Italian knit jumper there. Um, I don't think that's a particular like, designer brand, it's just a cool sweater. A bit too early for them, I'll probably have to sit on that for a few months until Christmas now. But, oh well. This one's cool, if I remember correctly. This one is, yeah, a denim jacket. I'm going to move this to the side. This one's a denim jacket. It's like full of patches. And if you look at the back, that's fully embroidered. Quality never goes out of style. Tune. I don't know what tune is. I don't know if this is. I don't think the Chawan. I don't know that brand particularly, but it's a really cool jacket. So we'll see how much that goes for. Probably like 30 quid, I imagine. We'll see. Next up, a very really nice fleece. There's a lot of winter stock, sadly. Oh, that's Lacoste as well. That's stunning. Oh, that's really nice. That's like a 40 pound jumper there. If I bring that into the light. It's like a checked Sherpa quarter zip Lacoste fleece. That's beautiful. Yeah, I'd hope to get 40, 50 quid on that. Um, I think I paid £80 for the box. I don't remember, it was a while ago now. Um, this is just the Timberland Gilet as well. Nothing exciting. Fleece lined, at least. But, so it's lighting. I can never get a good lighting in this room. Um, so all the natural light just comes bursting in there. 
Oh, it's like stained. What are you? Alright, a pair of champion joggers. But quite stained. I mean these these on their own would get like 30 quid if they weren't stained. So I might end up yeah, look, if you look at the back. Like marks all over it. I might give them a good bleaching. I think I've got a few items to bleach. Um, which should hopefully put the money back on them if I do it right. So they should be 30 quid if I can get those things out. What's this? It's just another pattern jumper. It's nice again, but these aren't going to be worth much until winter. Um, sadly, but it could be 30 quid or so come winter, so good value. Next, this looks like another fleece gilet. I don't know, another Timberland. It's not a gilet, it's just a quarter zip fleece. I mean, these can do well. It's quite thin. Maybe £15 probably. But I might not sell that very soon. Okay, I'm going to t shirt which is good. That's what I want. What are you? Um, Adidas. A little bit boring to wear. <laughs> Just Adidas double sided t shirt. But it's not very exciting. The lighting is awful. Oh, well. I might turn the actual light on. Be better. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, what's next? Just a corduroy shirt, but that's really nice. Unbranded, but put stripes. All corduroy. That should get like 20 quid, 25 pounds, I think. Corduroy go really, go sells really well, especially if it's patterned. Love a bit of corduroy. That's corduroy out there. What you see Harley Davidson. This isn't. This just looks like a pair of army trousers. Yeah, these are just a pair of standard issue army trousers, I think. Quite cool. Um, I don't know what these are worth. I normally ignore these when I see them. I like kilo sales and stuff. But there's probably like £15 in them. Um, next, this looks like some kind of flannel shirt. Again, really nice pattern. Not corduroy, but like flannelled. Lovely print. Yeah, that should be like 20 quid again. Um, so we're getting some good money in this, I think. We're sitting paid 80 pounds. Slightly out of season, but these champion, looks like a champion tag. No. Dickies, oh nice. Right. Label spaded, but a pair of dickies. I don't really know what to call these. They're like really thin cotton. They're not work trousers or chinos or anything. I'll work it out. They're a nice, lovely colour. Good brand. Three items left, I think. What are these? These look cool. Dickies again. These are like work trousers. Like heavy duty, navy, that light is not going to show you, is it? You see a slight bit of there. Let's just look at. I hate it. I'll find somewhere new. Um, yeah, so they're really cool. I can probably get like 30 quid on those, I reckon. Um, really good quality dickies, similar to Carhartt. Um, last two items from this box. Actually, I think there's one separate. I'll do that. That's quite cool. I mean, Urban Outfitters, so it's not vintage at all. But it's quite nice. Lion Constellation. Again, that's going to need a bleach, I think. It's stained down the bottom. That's alright. 
I'll stop. Harley Davidson. Boom. Very happy. Looks like it's early noughties. Based on the tag. 2009, so late noughties, but still. Really nice double sided, that's obviously the best side there. Navy. I mean, it's not that vintage, but I think the double sided print and the colour really gives that an edge that I think I can get £20 for. At least. I might try it 25 and see what we get. That's box one down. Next. I think he said he has to do one thing separately. Yeah. This coat. I should do that. A trespass puffer. So yeah, I'm not going to bother to sell this till August. But I believe it's reversible. Yeah. So I've never actually sold Trespass before. It's not really one that's on the vintage scene, but I think a reversible puff like this could still at least fetch with like bold colours. 30 quid. I don't really like selling puffer jackets because they're because they're just so damn bulky and I don't think when storage space is so limited, especially if you look at this. Um, I don't think their value is worth the space. I'd rather have a load of like high value sweatshirts or t-shirts. Um, yeah, just per you per like square meter, whatever you call it. It's not good value. Anyway, last up, eBay bundle. Now this was a cracker. And I'll save the best item for last. But there's still good stuff in here. Um, so yeah, I won this in auction. Someone just selling loads of designer stuff from their own wardrobe, it looked like. This is the worst item lot. So I think there's nine in total. And I won it for, I think, again, about £80 shipped. So this is just a boring Adidas graffiti t-shirt that I don't care about. Um, so that's item one, but that's... By, by far and away the worst item. Next up, I don't remember seeing this in the bundle to be fair. This might be just thrown in. It's an FC UK t shirt. I mean, I could get something for that. I don't really know what a modern FC UK t shirt goes for, but tenner maybe. Again, I think it, he's included more stuff that wasn't in the pictures. Because I don't recognise this either. It's a crosshatch. Never saw a crosshatch in my life. I have no idea what that's worth. Um, probably a tenner. Yeah, definitely he's included a lot of stuff that just wasn't amazing. It's even better value. Ugh, that's just a plain Armani jeans t-shirt. Just a small, tiny printed logo there. Nothing on the back. But still, that's Armani. It's probably worth like £12. Next, another t-shirt I don't recognise. This is amazing. Even if they're like not that great. I mean, that's Hugo Boss. Just straight up. This may be... I hate this light. I'm gonna... I'm getting on that is terrible. It's probably better. That navy. I don't know what that shows, but it's sort of a mix of felt and print. I'll have to work it out. But that's pretty much. I'm just considering these freebies because I didn't know. I didn't know they were in it. I think we're getting to. The, yeah. So this is now probably what I start knowing, isn't it? This is a YSL short sleeve shirt. Um, it's not it's not buttoned up, but just this nice white and blue checked thing. Logo, it's very subtly there on the pocket. But that, that's fifteen pounds. I sell those constantly for fifteen quid. 
If it's long sleeve, maybe 20, but short sleeve, 15. Um, next. Ooh. Hugo Boss black jeans, I believe. Kind of genie. That's the label. So this could be probably like 30 quid, I imagine. Hugo Boss, I love that. Um, next, I'm gonna pull and shark. <laughs> Brand new with tags. Didn't even know that when I got it. Oh, this is amazing. I just wait for the best item. Um, yeah, pull and shark shirt. I, I would have said without tags, second hand, this probably would have been about ten pounds, fifteen quid, maybe twenty. With tags, I might just put it up for thirty. See what happens. That's exciting. Um, next, these are Lacoste, I believe. Yeah, Lacoste tracksuits, all black. So you might see my—I I don't think I've ever listed them, actually. But I unboxed two Lacoste tracksuit bottoms, you know, Lacoste bundle I got, and they were both the first two items to sell from that entire bundle. They both went for twenty-five pounds in like a day. So I might put those up for thirty, maybe even thirty-five. See what happens. Um, yeah. I ordered this for 80 quid. There's one item that more than pays for the lot. So these are Neuro Tags Burberry trousers. Absolutely ridiculous. I did not know these were new. Look at that. Burberry XL. Um, there's the tag. Unreal. So I don't know what these are worth. I don't, I've never sold Burberry trousers before. But I'd hope about £40 if they're new, at least. They're not like, no, there's no no check or anything on them, sadly. But even so. <laughs> Jesus. Um, so that's 40 quid at least, hopefully. Is this the last time coming out? I think it is. Okay, I hope you guys are ready for this. Um, I'm just gonna quickly zip it up. So I paid £80 for the whole bundle. And what I have here is a Novichak Burberry jacket. I mean, it's not the normal colourway. But this is a oh, pocket. That's oh, a pocket there. <laughs> Not only is this a no check Burberry jacket, it is reversible. So there's a tag right in the pocket. Burberry XL. It's, just, it's absolutely mad. This is worth about two hundred pounds. I got the entire bundle for eighty quid. Uh, so I am gassed right now. Um, the inside is just black, but oh, I'm a god at this game. This was such a good find. Look at it. Oh, I don't know when you even wear Burberry, but my god. I'm always tempted to keep it. Let's see. My like, guy's so cheap. I don't know. But that concludes the video. Um, I hope you're jealous. Uh, but also hope you've learnt something. I don't know. Where to find stuff. Good value of things. Um, or you just enjoy the content. I don't know. Maybe I'm entertaining. Um, so... Probably a new video in a couple of days of what sold this week. Um, I'm having another really good week during Corona. Just yesterday alone, I made 450 quid, which was very tasty. Um, well, revenue that is, but some really good sales. Um, so yeah, see you next time. Like, comment, subscribe, and stay safe.